Hey guys, so I wanted to make, it's like 9.30 right now and it's kind of late, but I really wanted to make this video before I took a shower. Um, so I'm going to do a video on my May favorites. Sorry, I'm like losing track of months because they're just going by so fast. Um, so it's not huge because um, of testing and things. I haven't been using, like, really expanding myself makeup-wise, so it's not a huge favorites. So, it's small. So I'll just jump into it. So, um, my go-to eyeshadows this month have kind of been, um, the same, but kind of different. Sorry, I just got a text. Ugh, okay. So, um, because I saw um, Amorexia use them, I started using them as my go-to eyeshadows for this month. So I've been using the Alhambra from NARS. Oh my god. And I've been using this color here, which is like a champagne pink. Like this. And it, um with these two colors and she didn't use both in this palette but this is in the Kalahari NARS duo palette and I've been using both I've been using this color to um, just be put in my crease and then this color to darken my crease um, So this one's a little bit of a golder kind of brown, and then this one's more like a taupey brown. But when you put them together, they actually look really nice. You wouldn't think so just because they're, oh my gosh, sorry. Um, just because they are like that um, different, you might not think they work together, but they actually really do. Um, then the next go-to eyeshadow I've been using is Twinks from MAC. Um, and it kind of reminds me of Hoax a little bit, but just with shimmer. I don't know. Maybe I'm going crazy. But it kind of does just a little bit. And it comes out like in a dark purple with like a red tint. I guess you could say. And then, sorry. Um, and then the last eyeshadow I've been using is Swish, which is also an eyeshadow from MAC. And I'm kind of running out of fingers here. So I'll use my pinky. And it's like a um, really gorgeous kind of like whitish pink purple. And it's, I love, I think this is a gorgeous color to be using. Okay. And then next I have two blushes. I've been using Gentle, which is a mineralized blush from MAC. And this color, um like literally no joke is like a plummy color but it gives you me such a nice glow for um, this time it's just amazing and then I've been using the Benefit Dandelion blush um, and it's a lighter kind of sparkly color and it also gives me a nice glow and I like the brush, even though I don't use it, because I have my own. And then, um, other two makeup items is the Chanel Waterproof um, Liner in the color number 10. And, um, this is a really great product. Like, I, I love this product. And it's very pigmented. Um... And it's just waterproof. And I wore this to the pool already. And I can tell you, it means what it says. You can rub all you want and it really just doesn't move. So, I listened to it. Then, I don't remember if I've spoken about this. I feel like I have, but maybe I haven't. Um, but I've been using for mascara wise the Photo Ready 3D Volume by Revlon. In the color 1 Black is Black. Um, and I think I've talked about it in a past video, but I don't know if I've talked about it in my favorites video yet, but, um, maybe I have, but I'm just going to talk about it because I still have been using it. Um, 
I love this mascara so far. Um, well, not so far. I've been loving this mascara. Um, and for a drugstore brand, this is a really phenomenal mascara overall. And I see no um, problems. And then for a brush, I've been using my 179 Kabuki brush from MAC, which is a mix between the regular Kabuki and then a mineralized Kabuki. And I got this from one of the limited edition, um, what's it called? Uh, give me two seconds. Um, from the limited edition collections. And this was one of them, and I got it just because. Just because. Sorry, that was my sunglasses. And then lastly is nail polish. And I'm actually wearing this. It's kind of chipped. But this is number 672. And it's called Mocha Chino, I think. And it's a gray, almost brown color with sparkles in it. And... It's just, I love this color. I think it's, um, it's not necessarily an amazing, sorry, I have a band-aid, yeah, right there. Um, it's not necessarily an amazing color to be using for, like, now, for, like, the spring, summertime, but I think definitely for wintertime, this is a really great go-to color. Um, and I think I'm gonna add, a, like, a really, like, quick two-second haul, um, about the Butter Londons that I just got. I got three new ooh, Butter Londons, along with my two others that I already have. Oh my lord, sorry. Um, and I got Teddy Girl, which is a light pink, which is really gorgeous. And then I also got Disco Biscuit, which is a hot pink with a lot of shimmer in it. And I feel like I would do, like, switch between those two on my nails, an alternate one. And then I got the Hardware Top Coat. And I'm really excited to use these. Here, I'll show you the names. And they're really gorgeous colors, and I'm excited to use them. And I will do it in a haul. Not a haul. But I'll show you guys next um, time I film when I do this. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys are having a great day. And I hope you guys are really excited for June, because now I know I am. Um, so, yeah. I hope... Um, you guys are doing well. Bye.